considering example two, in example two we've got our um, probability distribution and here we've been asked to work out a variety of expectations and variances for different functions x plus 3, 2x, 2x plus 3, x squared, e to the x and 1 over um, x plus 1. So you can work those out by um, using the formula uh, sum of g of x multiplied by the probability. So in each case work out what um, the expected value, uh, sorry, work out what the what g of x would be for 1, for 0, 1 and 2 and multiply it by the probability. These have been filled in for us here. So we've got our values uh, in our tables filled in for both the expectation uh, and the variance. And it's all about just looking at the connection between the expectation of x and the variance of x and looking to see what the connection is. And if you look at those closely, um, those results will go on and confirm the two important results that we mentioned on the previous page. Um, the expected value of ax plus b is equal to a times e of x plus b. So that's demonstrated in um, examples 1, 2 uh, and 3. And similarly, the variance of ax plus b is equal to a squared times uh, the variance of x. And again, that's demonstrated in these first three examples. So those rules exist for linear functions of g of x, but for not for nonlinear functions. For nonlinear functions, we need to use the more uh, long-winded uh, 